finished vacuuming out your car already? Well, I couldn't even get started. Jimmy's out on his front lawn chatting with every neighbor that passes by. And if I don't join in, I'm a jerk. Hey, Richie! Oh, look, he's got another one. This guy doesn't even live in the neighborhood. No, that's Richie Hebner. He lives right over there. I thought the guy that lived over there had a beard. Greg, that guy died. <laughs> when? Remember the day you were complaining about the ambulance blocking our driveway? <laughs> the point is, I'm never going to get my car cleaned. Oh, I think you're making a big deal out of nothing. Big deal? Kim, it's excruciating. Listen for yourself. Well, you two sure picked a great day for a ride. Clear skies, not too windy. Moderate breeze. Yeah, I'd say a gentle breeze. You're probably right. <laughs> A little hazy this morning. Did you see that? I did. Yeah. But around 10, 10.30? Yeah. It burned off. I saw that. <laughs> I mean, that's why they don't have two weathermen on the news. Frank, these people are our neighbors. Maybe after eight years, you should start talking to them, too. I don't want to talk to them. Why? Come on, Kim. With all the hours I put in at work, I barely have any time to spend with the kids. And you. Aww. Hey, I left my cell phone on the driveway. Would you go get it? No! You know, it is weird to hide from the neighbors. You know, when I go running, I wave and smile and say hello. Well, I'm happy that you're friendly with them. That way, I don't have to be. Greg, what did your parents do to you? God. Look! Hey. What's up, Marty? Hey, hey, got a little pie for you, man. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Thank you, dude. All right, see you, buddy. Take care, man. Thank you. A pie? Someone just gave him a pie. <laughs> I've lived here for eight years, not one pie. Right, we got a pie when we moved in. I believe your response was, we're not eating this. We don't know where it's been. I'm gonna go for a run. Hey, Kim. Hey, Richie. Hey, Kim, as long as you're out there, could you? <laughs> Thank you. Marty, Celia, Richie, I think we live on the best street in the world. I, I just love meeting all the neighbors. Well, didn't you meet them when you were living in our guest house? Oh, never. I was always too embarrassed. I thought they'd all look down on us because we were the poor people living in your guest house. I gotta say, it's much nicer to be given a pie because we look friendly and not because we look hungry. <laughs> yep, now we're all equals. We're just a bunch of homeowners standing outside shooting the breeze. Is that a moderate breeze or a gentle breeze, Jimmy? <laughs> Was that great? I just don't get it, Jimmy. All that small talk with the neighbors. I mean, isn't... How about the weather just polite code for I have nothing to say? I, I do have something to say about the weather. Huh. Jimmy can talk about the weather for hours, and that's just here in L.A. where there is no weather. I mean, you should have seen him when we lived in Maryland. <laughs> Yeah, back in Maryland this one time at a bus stop, I, I talked for 20 minutes uh, about slush. <laughs> at the end, people were clapping. Oh, by the way, Cindy and Mel loved your story about the blizzard of 87. Yeah, yeah, you know what? They made me tell it to uh, Frank and Lisa at the Shays barbecue. Shays at a barbecue? Who the Shays? Greg, the Shays live 50 feet from this table. Oh, the Shays, the Shays, good people. Were there many other couples from the street there? Oh, not as many as there were at the Hendersons last Sunday. Oh. <laughs> well, what's going on? How many parties have you guys been to lately? I don't know, a few. Hi, what's the difference? I thought you guys didn't care about this stuff. We don't. I do. It sounds like there's a whole social life going on in this neighborhood that we know nothing about. Well, don't worry about it. Jimmy and Christine can always fill us in. You know, that's the attitude that's keeping us from being invited anywhere. You're so antisocial, people think you don't like them. I like them plenty, as long as they keep the hell away from me. I don't understand. Greg, you used to be so good with people. You were outgoing and sociable. Now, what happened? Nothing happened, Kim. I do it every day at work. Nice tie, Mondays, huh? Working hard, hardly working. That Greg seems nice. Yeah, I like him, too. Well, he's a fake. <laughs> Well, if you can fake it at work, you can fake it here, too. I'm not letting you drive the neighbors away anymore. That's it. We're having a barbecue. Here? Kim, you know, once we invite them into our home, that's it. They're in for life. <laughs> this weekend. Okay, okay. How about Saturday? Saturday's fine. Saturday's no good. What? Is there another party we're not invited to? 
No, 60% chance of rain Saturday. <laughs> You've got to eat something. Not until the guests get here. Christine, the invitation said 1 o'clock. It's 3.30, okay? We don't eat soon. It'll be time for dinner, and I won't have had my lunch. You never get back the meals you miss, Christine. You never get them back. It's an open house. People will come. One chip. Fine. Just don't mess anything up. Thank you. Jimmy, look what you did. What? I told you not to mess anything up. Look at the dip. You left a divot. Oops. Well, I will replace my divot. Stop. Let me do a little Zamboni thing here, all right? <laughs> Good as new. I told you you could have one chip, and you've now had three. Yep. <laughs> you do something. You're always scheming to get more. Well, that is not true. Oh, yeah? How did a back rub turn into a second kid? <laughs> Who's here? Nobody. Kim's just checking the doorbell again. <laughs> well, huh. we gave it a shot. You guys could hear that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we heard it. it. <laughs> Kim, I think we just have to face facts. I'll get it. Okay, it's gonna be fun, honey. I swear, if they spend more than 30 minutes here, I'm gonna tell them my dog got out. I'll give you 10 bucks to get behind the fence and bark. Hey, our first guests are here. Hey, so glad you could make it. This is Will and Tammy. Hi. This is my husband, Greg, my sister, Christine, and her husband, Jimmy. Hi. They live next door. Oh, nice to meet you all. You have a beautiful home. Mm. Oh, I'm surprised we haven't met before. Oh, that's because we just moved in on Monday. And thank you so much for inviting us. Oh, it's been really hard not knowing any of our neighbors for a whole week. Oh, that must be awful. <laughs> so, where are all the neighbors? Yeah, we're, we're not quite sure. Hey. This isn't that day that you set the clock back three hours, is it? Will, Tammy, jump right in. Oh. There's burgers, there's chicken, hot grilled vegetables, <laughs> potato salad, and cornbread, coleslaw dinner rolls. Again, thank you so much for coming. Would you like to offer our guests a beer? I would like that. I would like that very much. Would you like a beer? Yeah, I'll take one. Oh, me too. Oh, super. <laughs> I'll have one. Get it yourself. I'm not an octopus. <laughs> so, did you invite many people, Kim? Oh, everyone on the block. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but, you know, maybe there's traffic. <laughs> but they live on the block. <laughs> they could be coming from somewhere else. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to snap. I just, I don't know why they haven't shown up yet. But you know, what can you do? <laughs> you plan a party, you spruce up your home, rent all the decorations. You handwrite on each invitation because you think these people are worth it. And then, Kim. We should go. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, Tammy. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why I just lost it there okay. for a second. It's okay, Kim. Look, you seem nice, but obviously there's something going on between your neighbors and you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's not me. It's Greg. They hate Greg. But, but he's been getting better. I mean, you saw. He's been good, hasn't he? Beer here. Just like at the ballpark. <laughs> Beer here. Oh. <laughs> it's, you know, it's nothing personal, Kim. It's just you know, we're new. We don't want to take sides. All we want is to be part of the neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, that's all we want, too. Stop them! We might as well face it. 
no one else is coming. Let's clean up. All right. I'll do the dishes. <laughs> Well, at least we didn't have people tracking dirt through our house. No one clogged up one of our toilets. Uh, actually. <laughs> Please tell me you tracked dirt through the house. You know, I can't believe this. All this time, I thought that my problem was that you didn't like the neighbors. My real problem is they don't like you. Why wouldn't the neighbors like me? They don't even know me. How could they know you? You never talk to them. I mean, you don't even take the garbage cans out to the curb unless you're wearing those bulky headphones. <laughs> They're not even plugged into anything. <laughs> yeah, I think they figured that out. Jimmy, I need your help. <sighs> okay, I could probably get some of this cornbread down, but that's about it. <laughs> No, your help winning the neighbors back. I feel terrible. I feel like I messed up something really important to Kim. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, I don't know. You're always out on the front lawn chatting with them. Maybe you could talk me up a little. But people aren't going to believe me. You got, they got to see that from you. Well, then throw a big party over at your house. Everyone will show up, and I can win them over there. I don't know, Greg. Come on, Jimmy. All right, fine. But listen, if you're really serious about making friends with the neighbors, then you're gonna have to work on your small talk. Ugh, I just hate it so much. I mean, if I'm gonna have to talk to people, I'd like to at least talk about something interesting. Well, like what? I don't know, like, like the European Union. I mean, are they gonna hold it together or what? <laughs> oh my God, what kind of party would this be? <laughs> I'm on my third beer, this guy wants to talk about Japan. Ah, uh, Japan is not in the European Union. See what happens when we do it your way? People just end up feeling stupid. <laughs> well, just so I don't have to talk about the weather. Oh, no, you're going to talk about the weather. Yeah. And you're going to talk about which neighbor's cat had kittens. And then you're going to talk about the weather some more. Because those are the things that normal people like me and your neighbor, we like to talk about. Well, maybe you're not giving your neighbors enough credit. Maybe if you gave them a chance, they would love to talk about something interesting. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. But you know what? Let's find out tomorrow morning, my front lawn. Fine, I'll be there. But I must warn you, there's one or two neighbors that might be under the impression that I don't speak English. <laughs> hey, hey, Frank. Jimmy, can you believe this heat? Yeah. High pressure front. You said it. Hey, well, look who it is. Hey, uh, have you met my brother-in-law, Greg? I don't think so. How you doing, Greg Warner? Frank White. I'll tell you, Greg is the greatest. He is generous, he is kind, and he uh, let Christine and I live in his guest house for four years. Really? That's really something. Where was that? Here, I live here. I live that house right next door. Oh. What happened to that nice single mother who used to live there? <laughs> Kim, was it? That's my wife. Hey, good for you. <laughs> Thanks. Good for those kids, too, having a man in the house again. No, she... Hey, uh, Frank, you know what? Your lawn's looking great. Thanks. Just started mowing it the other direction. Wow. <laughs> it shows. Just hope those sprinklers hold up while I'm away on vacation next week. Another vacation? Nice. This one was Lisa's idea. So instead of golf, we're headed to New York City. New York City? Now, there's something interesting to talk about. I love New York. Jimmy, hear that? Frank's yeah. going to New York City. Ah, huh. huh. plan on seeing some theater? God, I hope not. <laughs> You've been to New York before. Oh, please. I go twice a year. It's one of the most incredible places in all the world. Let me ask you something, Ben. Oh, I'm at your disposal. Restaurants, museums. You think it'll rain? <laughs> Pardon? I'm supposed to be there all next week. I heard it might rain. Do you really want to talk about the weather? Hey, Kim. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, it's October. Of course it's going to rain. It's a really dicey weather month. Just like here. I better pack an umbrella. Well, not really. I mean, as soon as the sidewalk's wet, there's a guy on practically every corner selling umbrellas. Wow. I bet those guys know the weather better than anyone. Well, that's interesting. I never thought about that. When I get there, 
I'm going to ask one of those guys which forecast he follows. And I'd love to hear their answers when you get back. Count on it. All right. Great meeting you, Nice man. to meet you, Frank. Way to go, Greg. So you're telling me aluminum siding isn't even available anymore? Well, see, you can't buy it in most stores. It's either steel or vinyl these days. I didn't know that, Marty. Mm, a lot of people don't. I'm glad I bumped into you. You too. <laughs> so Tito's has the best burritos? Yep. But for an enchilada, you got to go to Lucy's. I will. Where would I go for tamales? <laughs> hey, we're not that close yet. <laughs> you know, I can't believe that you've lived on this street for eight years and I've never seen you around. Oh, uh, you know. No. Tell me, Greg, what's your story? Where have you been? The truth? Of course. I was uh, liberating a government in Micronesia. <laughs> they held me hostage for 16 months. It rained almost every day. Oh, my God. What was that like? <sighs> liberating a government? No. 16 straight months of rain. <laughs> Which was the blouse I was gonna buy in the first place. <laughs> so when I brought the blouse back, I forgot the receipt. I'm gonna get some more sangria. Oh, you, you, you have a full cup right there. Excuse me. going great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, pretty good, I guess. I mean, my face hurts from smiling so much. Hey, you guys, don't cut into Marty's gooseberry pie without me. <laughs> wow, Greg's a regular social butterfly. Last time he got this much attention at a party, someone was sticking him with an EpiPen and screaming, hold his legs. <laughs> Christine, I think something's wrong. The women are being so cold to me. I doubt that. You know what? How about tequila, Paulette, and slushy with me? You'll feel a lot better. <laughs> You are Christine. Lisa! Oh, hi! Hi. Uh, you know my sister, Kim? Oh, sure, yeah, hello. So nice to see you, Lisa. Yeah. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> that was kind of chilly. See, I don't understand. Me neither. No, maybe Tammy knows something. Uh, Tammy? Hi, Christine. Oh, thank you so much for having us over. I've met so many nice people here. I mean, they've been nice to me, not on anybody's side. <laughs> All right, what is going on? Has anyone told you why they're being so hard on Kim? I'd rather not say. Look, there's something you should know about me. Tequila makes me horny and mean. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy and I just had a quickie. <laughs> Talk to Fran. Okay. Uh, Fran? Hi. Talk to you. Christine, I don't want to have a confrontation here. I'm here to make friends. Um, apparently you and some of the other women in the neighborhood have a problem with my sister. I'm sure it's just a little misunderstanding. And if you're uncomfortable Do talking about... Do you really about... want to talk about it here? Well, I'm sure it's Spit just... it out. Okay, fine. It's the way you parade around in your skimpy little jogging outfits. Doesn't make life any easier on the rest of us. <laughs> well, that's... Nothing a hooded sweatshirt couldn't solve, huh? <laughs> How dare you? You don't like how I look, so you ostracize me? I don't believe this. We can't believe it either. Watching you, then watching our husbands watching you. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I'm sorry to be such a distraction to all you people. <laughs> But rather than take responsibility for yourselves, it's easier just to blame me. Well, you know what? Maybe your husbands wouldn't watch me so much if you got off your asses and exercised once in a while. Kim seems kind of mad. Yeah, but not at me. <laughs> so, you know what? Do me a favor. Stay away from me. And stay away from my family. Come on, Greg. My hot wife just drove away all the neighbors. <laughs> nice to meet you all. And hey, guys, thanks for staring at my wife. Is 
she all right? Hey, she's having a sex dream. <laughs> and a cold front from the north will be rolling in this evening, pushing warm air over the San Gabriels into the Inland Empire. On the coast, a low pressure front out over the Pacific Ocean will result in four to six foot waves. Cowabunga. <laughs> and as you can see on our exclusive Accu Jimmy radar. Oh. Hot dream? Mid-60s at the beaches. <laughs> A little warmer in the valley. 